Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna dig into a Prime Day haul. I ordered a crap ton of stuff off of Amazon. I made the video for Prime Day and I was ordering stuff while I was getting prepared to make that video for you guys. And then Prime Day came. It was the first time in the history of me that I ever actually participated and was looking at the sales myself. And I'm like, I got a vase and I got a duvet and we got some makeup and some random odds and ends. So I thought it would be fun just to share with you all what I ordered and give you some recommendations because I did find some really great things that I think you will love. And I get very excited when I find quality that is affordable. I'm talking with my hands a lot. Like when I find the deals, <laughs> like this shirt that I am wearing, I cannot even believe the quality, the feel, the softness, the firmness of the collar straight out of the bag. It is a smash hit. I could press it and make it even better, but I just wanted to put it on and show you all a model moment. Um, let's just hop right there because we really have every category. Let's get to it. Amazon. Prime Day haul. Cheers. Let's get the hair out of the way here. Do we love this? Look, look at this shirt. I mean, the quality of the material, I notice right away when I get a shirt that's like under $20 and it has that stiffness and scratchiness, I'm looking for soft fabric, but this one has it all. It's like a soft fabric, but it has a little structure to it as well. So it's not just like full floppy. My only thing that I would let you guys know about is the sleeves are not as long as I would like them to be. Like they do, if you, if you have long arms like me, I'm a big girl, I'm 5'8", I am very like, I feel like I have really long arms for some reason. So that is an issue for me, but you know, I like wearing it like this anyway. I think it's cuter, so it's not a deal breaker at all. I hear James. Am I hearing you? I can always hear you. Pardon me, ma'am. Do you have another Amazon package? Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Thank you. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Let's really hope this is not makeup. Yeah, it was 107 degrees today. Oh gosh. So I will put this at the front of my fashion section on my storefront on Amazon. I'll have everything linked and listed below. This is the shirt. And sometimes when you see it modeled on Amazon, you're just like, mm, like, do we think this is gonna be cute? Is it not? I don't know, I'm on the fence. And it is that risk, but this one I'm gonna say is great quality. They have so many different cute, like different kind of pinstripes. They have different colors and I love it. This is $28.99. I think I got it for like $17.99. I wish I had ordered more, but it is what it is. And I just, I really love it. Okay, this is staring me down. This is the most random thing that I have ordered in a long time. I have not swatched this because I kind of wanted us to have like a moment together. The packaging on this reminds me of Chantikai, but definitely more playful as Chantikai has like <laughs> sophisticated photographs of animals. And this is just like, meow, you know, it's just, it's a little cat. Sometimes you get in that tunnel on Amazon where you're like, you know what? I just feel it in my bones that I'm gonna like this. And this is actually swatching incredibly well. I feel I paid like $10 for this and I'm on a mission to find hidden gems online from brands that you may not have heard about that are not gonna break the bank. And the cool thing about shopping, say on Amazon, is you can get those global brands that you know are not even online at department stores here in the US. You know what I'm saying? Like this feels like something that I would get excited about traveling abroad. Like, ooh, this cool brand that I've never heard of. And it just, it's really nice actually. This is surprisingly nice. And I love this cute little package and they have a bunch of different ones. So let me get that one out of the way. Let's open this up right here. What are you? I'm still into the space tea. I didn't realize it had 14 grams of sugar in it though. And I'm like trying to watch my sugar intake. So whoops, I'm not drinking coffee at the moment. Let's see how long that lasts. Um, I'm trying to stay hydrated and I'm doing cardio again on my Peloton. If you follow me on IG, you know I've been talking about that. And these are delicious, but like, oh my gosh, I need to read the label. <laughs> <gasps> yes, okay, this is actually not, guys. This is not a prime day extravaganza moment. This is just something that was such a necessity. 
I will use it and report back to you. This is Trek Natural Bug Repellent, a non-toxic bug repellent. You guys, I am being eaten alive. Eaten alive. I have one, two, three. I have another one right here. And then I have them on my ankles, one on my butt. It's just like this for me. And it's misery. I love being outside. And I kind of felt like mosquitoes only get you at dusk. And I'm out in the morning usually. And like, I don't know, I'm going to be hosing myself down and I will let you know. If you have a non-toxic good recommendation for bug repellent, let me know. I'll tell you the meanest thing that James did the other night. He knows that I am like trying so hard to not scratch at my mosquito bites. And he thought it would be funny to reach over on my leg and give one like a little tickle. I'm so mad at him. I was like, that is not even funny. He was laughing and it turned out fine that I made him rub my feet to distract me from itching. So I was like, yay, a foot rub. But yeah, the mosquito bites here also, I feel like they itch more. I don't know what the deal is, but it is terrible. Okay, so we're gonna dig into this right here. So I wanted to open it up together and be like really judgy together. This is one of those super cute, chic, maybe, um, tissue holders, right? Like, actually, I think it kind of is nice. They look so good online. I see so many people do like my Amazon must-haves and it's like always this cute bathroom and it's this and it just looks so fabulous with like your cute little tissue at the top. It kind of feels really cheap. It does, but I think aesthetically, if you're just looking at it like from afar, it's pleasant, right? And it wasn't very expensive. I also, for Prime Day, I picked up these makeup erasers. I really like the idea of this because it's kind of like, really should say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, like um, weird, but does anyone remember days of the week underwear? anyone, please tell me. <laughs> um, because I think maybe they should do that with these. So this is like a week supply. The idea is to use this to take your makeup off and you have the full week set and then once a week, throw it in the bag, throw it in the wash and you're good. And I actually really love that. And I do love how gently these remove makeup and they were of course, Prime Day deal, so that's what I bought. Oh, this was a Prime Day deal that was really nice. And honestly, I think this might be one of the best texturizing sprays I have ever tried ever. You guys, the mist on here, just look. It's like a cloud. It is like a vapor of, ju it just like juts out this crazy cloud. I'm tasting it, woo, it's misty but it's gritty and it is so good. This is by Unite. This is the Finishing Texture Hairspray. It has a little bit of a hold and I am telling you it has helped my curls to last so much longer. And if I need like a quick little one of these, which I love to constantly kind of messy up my hair, I'll flip my hair over. I will judge with this and I just Love it even more than the Bumble and Bumble that I had been using. And I think I like it even more than Orbe, which is like the gold standard for texturizing sprays if you're gonna buy a luxury version of. And I'm just so into it. Oh, I wanted to put highlighter on on camera. This was on sale. And the reason that I got this is because I previously have bought this. Do we remember Illamasqua? Used to be in Sephora here years ago. I have reviewed the brand on my channel way, 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 way back when. Love everything Illamasqua. I had a full blown like memory, like, ah, like come up when I saw that the line was on Amazon. I ordered this palette right here. It's what's on my eyes today. Now, they don't have crazy inventory on Amazon. So I will share with you all if you want this, they have nine left. I'm not joking. I'm sure you could order from overseas or go to their site itself and find it. But uh, just like, look at this. Everything on my eyes, I used one brush. I used a MAC 224 and I took uh, darker mattes in the outer crease a little bit up, kind of mimicking Scott Barnes. I hope you guys checked out that video. I'll link it below. My makeup today is very much a lot of his tips and techniques. I did a color wash as he calls it all over the lid with this bronzier shade. And then I went in with this guy right here and just went on the inner and patted that on. And oh my gosh, this palette's insane. 
I just love it. It's one of my most favorite palettes now, and I have a ton of them. I'm excited that I have it. It's so smooth, rich in texture, flattering colors, mattes and shimmers, and the blend is unreal on both. So I haven't tried this one out, but you guys are probably gonna hear me talk about this brand more because I'm so impressed with the texture. I mean, the formula has to have changed in the past like eight years. I haven't used their stuff in a while, but I am just like through the roof excited to explore everything. So I did get this Illamasqua Beyond Powder Highlighter in Deity. What an interesting name, Ray Highlighter. Uh, I'm gonna go in, get a nice fan brush going here. That's stunning. Look at that. Gorge. Not a ton of kickback. Okay. Let's go in. Let's see what we, ooh. Really pretty. I don't know that this is the color that I would, like it almost has a green, like we are feeling very galactic right now. It kind of has like a green thing going to it. Not green, but a golden, huh? With like a little bit of an undertone of something. Wow, beam me up. That is so smooth. What do we think? I feel the texture is so incredibly smooth. It's got a little like greeny, greeny goldy thing to it and pinky that I'm not sure. I, oh, it's so hard to order the right color online. I think I'm gonna order more because this texture is just like, is it's something, you gotta feel it. It's doing, ah, uh, it's doing things. I did also get from Laura Geller, her stuff was all on sale. Something I actually have to return sadly because the seam busted on this guy right here. This is the Skin Perfecting Primer in Bronze. I'm gonna try to get into that game. I'm gonna try to do something I didn't think I would ever do and play around with the bronzing prior to foundationing technique. I've tried that before way back when, didn't love it, but you can always refresh and retry trends, so why not? This is Laura Geller. This is a foundation technically, it definitely has a little coverage in here. Whoa, um, and some shine. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to play with this off camera as I continue to plow it on. Okay. Um. Yes, yeah, so I love makeup and I have a problem with the love that I have for it. It's something that you would think would die off by now, but it just has not. So let's take a break from the land of makeup and go into a box that I have yet to open. I, for some reason, thought it would be more fun to kind of save opening some of these things with you guys. Let me know, does that make a haul better or worse? Do you want me to have tried everything in advance or do you want to discover it with me and ooh and all with me? Because sometimes, I don't know. Like I pretend that you guys are like actually participating in it with me in a weird way, energetically maybe, I don't know. I love like opening things up. Like if my sisters were here and we're like, oh my gosh, look how cute this is. Or just that excitement and that pleasure of opening a package, which is why I think I wait to do it on camera. <laughs> but if you're like, test it, try it, get to know it. And I only want the scoop. Um, let me know how you feel. I'm, I'm curious, I should poll you guys. Okay. I am getting into home decor on Amazon and it's turning into a problem. Like there's a new Amazon package legitimately every day. These are bookends and I thought they would go with the room really well. They're heavy. Oh my gosh, the quality is there. These were like 30% off and I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I have a plan for the background to put my shadow palette stood up like books where you'll see the spine of it and then do my little bookends. What do you think? I think it's cute. Oh, you can see my shirt better here. James is not a fan of this, but that's okay. Decorating with your husband when one of you is like very different and eclectic with your taste and the other's very rock and roll. It's like a whole thing. It's really like our style just sometimes really does not align. I love this. I think this is the cutest vase ever. 
and the quality is pretty good. Um, this is Bloomingville. It says hand wash only. It has a little bit of gunk up top. I will tell you I'm slightly disappointed with a little bit of what's going on up here. It wasn't psychotically expensive and I did get a really good deal for Prime Day, but this brand on Amazon has some really cute home stuff. So if you're looking for a vase or a throw or something in that arena, this is definitely a brand that I would check out. Like everything looks really expensive. Like it looks like a model home kind of a vibe, right? Like when you go and you tour a home, which I love doing that, like that used to be a weird thing that I would do on the weekends. So I would like wanna go and tour model homes to get decorating ideas. And I just love how it's all presented. And you know what I'm talking about? Like when you go in a home and it's like, wow, everything looks so next level and like so professional and like amazing. And you can get that look on a budget. You absolutely can. Just know kind of the style, the theme, what you're looking for. And I think this is kind of in that arena. Yes, no, I really like it. <laughs> I ordered bedding because again, Prime Day is like a whole thing. I'm gonna have to go in on Prime Day again, like with more experience now, like the second time around, I think I will do a few things differently. I'm really excited about it, but this was a really good Prime Day deal. This is by the brand, what is this? G-I-O-R-C-I-S. -I -I this is a duvet cover that is made out of linen. And if you didn't know, linen has a very high vibration and is very good for your health. So I thought, hey, what an idea to put it on my bed. So I'm all about hunting down like linen for bedding. And I thought this was pretty and it's just very, very beautiful. So this color made my bed look like a stick of butter. Like it brought out the yellow and the cream fabric of my bed. So I'm gonna go with white and I'm gonna return it. But I wanted to show you guys this because the quality is really nice. There's a nice zipper on the duvet and I would have been happy with it had it not been the wrong color. So yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you know when I figure out the bedding, like my goodness, it has taken me a year, a year. I did that thing where I was like, ah, just buy something at Target, just, it's on sale. I don't even care about the color and I'll take my time and I'll order something fabulous later. A year has passed and I still don't have my bed sorted out. So that's something I'm on a mission to do. I need some new cute throw pillows. I need some new, like maybe a cute new throw blanket, something like that. But I need to kind of give my bedroom a little TLC. Oh, I know what I wanted to share with you guys. You know, the 17 mile jewelry, that was the most ordered item from what I shared on Prime Day. And I have been reaching for those earrings non-freaking-stop. So we're not having a gold moment right now, but I just wanted to share with you guys that everyone who ordered these has been DMing me and they're like, oh my gosh, Tati, these are amazing. I love them. I went back, I ordered more, I got silver. And I think that that just like passed me by. I didn't know that they had silver as an option. So I'm gonna be ordering this set and I will list it below in silver, but these are literally the most beautiful, <laughs> inexpensive earrings that I've ever owned. And yes, I am a diva when it comes to a lot of my jewelry because a lot breaks me out. And also through the years, my husband has bought me a few really nice pieces. So I keep my collection very small, but a lot of it is real, like it's high-end stuff um, or like Kendra Scott. And usually the kind of packs of earrings that you would see online that aren't very expensive would just like rash me right up. This is lead and nickel free. I haven't had an issue. And like, I just feel like they look so expensive. They look like they're so much more than they are. So there you have that. I'm gonna leave it on a high note. Let me know if you like this random everything haul of things that I'm loving trying out in all categories. I'm happy to do more of them. I hope you enjoyed this. Go and have a good one. Whatever you are doing, make sure you like and subscribe. Ring the bell, turn on your notifications, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.